Guten Morgen, Jahr 9. Heute ist unser Titel Auf der Party. I'd like you to write the date and title and copy down the five questions uh, for the starter. Can you translate these into English? You may want to pause the video now as I'm going to reveal the answers shortly. Nummer eins. Was hört ihr? What are you listening to? Zwei. Was spielt ihr? What are you playing? Drei. Was esst ihr? What are you eating? Vier. Was trinkt ihr? What are you drinking? Fünf. Was macht ihr? What are you doing? I hope some of you wrote an extension answer, but unfortunately I won't be able to hear them right now. Today we're going to be looking at topic three of module five, Auf der Party. We're going to talk about a party you've been to and use ihr. Now ihr is the word for you if I'm talking about a group of people in the informal. Okay, so saying you to a group of my friends. We're going to start off with some grammar. Here you have the different subjects in German. So ich, I, du, you, that's informal to a friend, someone your age that you know well or a member of your family, er, he, sie, she, wir, we, ihr, and that's the one we're focusing on today, ihr, you plural. Next we have Z with a capital, what might that be for? Yes, that's for formal you. So you might say that to a judge or somebody older than you or in position in authority over you. And lastly, we have Z, meaning they. Today, we are going to be focusing on ihr, which is the plural form of du. It's used for speaking to more than one friend or relative. For instance, a group of your cousins. To form a verb in the ear form, we have to take the en off the infinitive and add a t. Now, do you know what an infinitive is? Could you think of any examples? Now, an example might be spielen, translated as to play, or gehen, to go, essen, to eat, tragen, to wear. Okay, so here we have then machen, the verb to do or make, ihr macht, you plural, do or make, sehen, to see, ihr seht, you plural, see, essen, to eat, ihr esst, you plural, eat. So what I'd like you to do now is to note down the grammar rule, which is on the left hand side of the screen, then translate the following five sentences. So you, plural, informal, play football. You, plural, informal, eat chips. You, plural, informal, drink water. You, plural, informal, watch TV. And finally, you, plural, informal, do your homework. You might want to pause the video now to allow yourself time to do that before we go through the answers. Nummer eins. Ihr spielt Fußball. Zwei. Ihr esst Pommes. Drei. Ihr trinkt Wasser. Vier. Ihr seht fern. Fünf. Ihr macht eure Hausaufgaben. In the textbook we find the following storyboard involving ihr, meaning you, plural, informal. I've got two tasks for you to do. Firstly, I want you to listen to me reading the dialogue. And secondly, I want you to translate the dialogue into English. So, firstly, I'll read it to you. Eins. Hallo, ihr zwei. Was hört ihr? Wir hören eine alte Rat-CD. Und was spielt ihr? Wir spielen ein neues Computerspiel. 2. 
Was esst ihr? Wir essen heiße Würstchen. Sie sind lecker. Und was trinkt er? Wir trinken Orangensaft. 3. Claudia sieht gut aus. Sie trägt eine neue Hose. Ja, sie trägt auch ein tolles T-Shirt. Claudia, hallo! Hallo, wie geht's? Was macht ihr so? So now I'd like you to translate the dialogue into English and you may want to pause the video as in a couple of moments I'll be going through the answers. I'm now going to go through the answers. Number one. Hello you two. What are you listening to? We are listening to an old rap CD. And what are you playing? We are playing a new computer game. Number two. What are you eating? We are eating hot cocktail sausages. They are delicious. And what are you drinking? We are drinking orange juice. Number three. Claudia looks good. She is wearing a new pair of trousers. Yes, she's also wearing a great t-shirt. Claudia, hello. Hello, how's it going? What are you doing? Okay, we're now going to do a listening task. And I want you to draw this table in your books for me. So one, two, three, four, down the left hand side and then across what they ate, what they drank, the clothing they wore and any extra details. So I'd like you to pause now to complete that table and I'll begin with the audio shortly. Eins. Hey Julia, wie war die Party am Samstag? Ganz toll. Was habt ihr gemacht? Hm, wir haben Pizza gegessen und Limo getrunken. Ich habe ein blaues Kleid getragen. Die Musik war sehr laut und ich habe viel getanzt. 2. So, Robert, warst du auf Carolins Party? Ja, es war okay. Das Essen war ziemlich langweilig. Ich habe Chips gegessen und Saft getrunken. Ich habe einen gestreiften Pullover getragen und mir war zu warm. Die Musik war prima, aber ich tanze nicht so gern. 3. Hi, Matthias. Ich war nicht auf der Party. Wie war es? Sehr gut. Ja, es hat Spaß gemacht. Was habt ihr gemacht? Wir haben Popcorn gegessen, Kohle getrunken und ein neues Computerspiel gespielt. Was hast du an? Ach, ich weiß nicht. Kleidung ist so uninteressant. Ach ja, ich habe eine alte Hose und ein kariertes T-Shirt getragen. Sehr modisch, nicht? 4. Wie war Carolins Party am Samstag, Tanja? Ach, es war okay, das Essen war lecker. Was habt ihr gegessen? Wir haben Hamburger gegessen und viele heiße Würstchen. Der Apfelsaft war auch gut. Was hast du getragen? Ich habe schwarze Jeans getragen und weiß Schuhe. Die Party war lustig, aber ich war am Sonntag sehr müde. Okay, I'm going to go through the answers now. Number one, ate pizza, drank lemonade, wore a blue dress, and extra details, the music was very loud and she danced a lot. Number two, ate crisp, crisps, drank lemonade, sorry, drank juice, wore a stripy pullover, and the music was great, but she doesn't like dancing. Number three, ate popcorn, drank cola, wore an old pair of trousers and a checkered t-shirt. You might have heard that word, ein carriertes t-shirt, a checkered t-shirt. Extra details? Well, he played a new computer game and he doesn't find clothes interesting. Finally then, number four, they ate a hamburger and hot cocktail sausages, drank apple juice, 
wore black jeans and white shoes. And extra details, the food was tasty, the party was funny, but she was very tired on Sunday. We now come on to a reading text. What tense do you think the first two paragraphs are in? You should have said the past tense. I'm going to read you this text and then I'm going to ask you to do a translation of it for a competition. Am Samstagabend bin ich zu Carolins Party gegangen. Es war toll, weil Carolins Mutter nicht zu streng ist. Markus war da und Jessica auch. Markus ist so lustig. Er hat eine rote Krawatte und ein gelbes gestreiftes Hemd getragen. Jessica hat einen grünen Rock und schwarze Schuhe getragen. Wir haben Musik gehört, aber ich habe nicht getanzt, weil ich nicht gut tanze. Wir haben auch einen guten Krimi auf DVD gesehen und ich habe einen großen Hamburger gegessen. Dann haben wir doofe Spiele gespielt. Ich bin um halb zwölf mit meinem Vater nach Hause gefahren. Nächsten Freitag werde ich mit Anja zu deiner Geburtstagparty kommen. So what I'd like you to do is to translate that text into English. I'd like you to send your translations to jwatson at stbeads.cams.sch.uk. The first person to send it to me uh, in a correct form will get three merits and then each person that sends it to me after then will get one merit. Now please don't forget, uh, I'd like you on ePraise when you've finished watching this video and making notes to click completed so I can check up on who has been doing the work. I hope all is well with you. Auf Wiedersehen!